Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new topic in Science 7 which is all about locating places on Earth using coordinate system. This will be the fourth quarter topic and week one. This topic is a milk based. For the most essential learning competencies, after going through this lesson, you are able to demonstrate how places on Earth may be located using a coordinate system. Specifically, you are expected to first is to identify the latitude and longitude in the map or globe. The second one is to locate places on Earth using a coordinate system. And the third one is to locate land masses and bodies of water surrounding the Philippines. Now that you have studied about our globe, you will notice that there are two different lines. The horizontal line is called the latitude. The following are the five special names of the latitude. We have the equator, tropic of Cancer, tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. Equator is the center of our globe. It is the reference line in determining the latitude and the basis for identifying the northern and the southern hemispheres. When we say northern hemisphere, it is an area located from above of the equator up to the North Pole, while the southern hemisphere it is the area located below of the equator down to the South Pole. Aside from the horizontal lines, there are also vertical lines which are called the longitude. The starting point for the longitude is the prime meridian, which is at longitude degrees, zero degrees, or at Greenwich, London, United Kingdom. To the right of the prime meridian or the eastern hemisphere, the longitude is written as 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, and so on. And to the left or the western hemisphere, the longitude is written as 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, and so on. The prime meridian is the reference line in determining the longitude and the basis for understanding whether a certain place is found in the eastern hemisphere or western hemisphere. The location of a certain place can be described by using latitude and longitude. The intersection point between the latitude and the longitude of a certain place to find its location is called the coordinate. In figure 5 below shows the city which is near to 15 degrees north and 120 degrees east is Dalingayin as well as the 15 degrees north and 115 degrees east where the South China Sea is found and also in 13 degrees north and 124 degrees east where the Pacific Ocean is found. So now let us proceed to lesson 2 which is all about the land masses and the bodies of water. Land masses it refers to the total area of the country or geographical region which includes supercontinents, continents and the islands. When we talk about supercontinent it is a grouping of formerly dispersed spread continents. Another land mass is what we call continent. It is mainly surrounded by seas and usually consists of various countries. Music 
Another landmass is what we call island. It is an area of land smaller than a continent and entirely surrounded by water. In bodies of water, water bodies constitute areas of water both salt and fresh, large and small, which are distinct from one another in many ways. One of the classification of the bodies of water is the ocean. It is a continuous body of salt water that covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. Another classification of bodies of water is the sea. Sea is a smaller than ocean and it is usually located where the land and the ocean meet. Another classification of bodies of water is the lake. It is the body of stagnant water which is surrounded by land. Another classification of bodies of water is what we call the river. It is a natural and free-flowing body of water. Another classification of bodies of water is what we call canal. It is a passage of water to pass through and transport ships and boats.